And welcome back, this is Boss Cooper with a bonus episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. I am joined, as always, by my late level ultimate weapon squad of Age, Kane, Rosa, Cecil, and Rydia, our champions. When we last left off, I had beaten the game, didn't I? Yes, I did, but we didn't do everything that's possible in the game. So we're back in the pink puff room. Uh, this is where the cabin was. We're on uh, basement 5 or basement 6. Uh, and if we walk around just a little bit here, we have encountered pink puffs. <laughs> what a surprise. Now these pink puffs are tough as hell. Don't let you... Don't, don't be fooled any other way. Because as soon as the battle starts, well, you get a couple turns in sometimes. They say let's dance. And they start playing this theme. And it berserks much of your party. It doesn't look like they got Rose or uh, Rydia at all. That is very lucky for me. They did get Rosa, unfortunately. Now, once they've been berserked, I have not been able to find a way to heal them. I've tried using the heal item. I've tried using the heal spell. Nothing seems to work. Uh, so I'm going to risk not attacking with Cecil here because these guys hit damn hard. Uh, but hopefully because I do have a uh, Bahamut ready, this won't be too bad. Down goes one of the pink puffs. Hooray, go Bahamut. Go destroy, kill all of them. Alright, we got two of them. Uh, just leaves two more here. Down goes one. Like I said, I'm making this look real easy because I lucked out and Rydia didn't die and get berserked. And thanks to that, we are able to defeat them and get 277,775 gil and 10,000 experience. And Cecil has gained a level. Hooray. Now, they didn't drop it that time. And that pisses me off. But uh, when you get into a fight with them, each of them has a chance to drop a pink tail. They have a 1 out of 64 chance of dropping that. Since there are 5 of them, when you do that fight, you have a 5 out of 64 chance of them dropping 1. But they didn't this time. However, this time that I fought them, I was able to get that pink tail. Good lord, does that take a long time to get. But I got it! Hooray! And it's all yellow because it's important. So now it's time to leave and I will show you where we can take this pink tail that we worked so hard to get. With the pink tail in tow, we can now head back to the Adamant Grotto. If you remember, this is where we turned in the rat's tail before. But now if we go to Grotto Adamant, we can talk to this guy and he says he doesn't want to talk to you, us unless we have a tail for him. And we do have a tail. We have a pink one. A pretty pink one. Oh, he's very excited about it. Legendary pink tail. Great. Take this too. And we receive the Adamant Armor. Now you guys ready to see the fruit of my efforts? Are you prepared? Whether or not you are, here it is! I have everybody upgrade to the max here. I've been doing a ton of level grinding, as you might expect for trying to get that adamant, or, uh, the adamant armor because I needed to get the pink tail, which is ridiculous! Now, anybody can equip the adamant armor, and in fact, I'm going to be putting that on Rosa. Because as you can see, she doesn't do so well in terms of her defense. She's only got 68, which is pretty low when you're max level. Uh, so let's go ahead and put the adamant armor on her and see how, how much of an improvement this is from 6834, 15744 is uh it's insane how much that does. It's 99 defense more than the white robe and 10 magic defense more. It's ridiculous. Even it boosts her attack as if I care about that. It pretty much makes her a wall. It's ridiculous. And so I put it on my white mage because technically the white mage is the most important person in my party at any given time. But as you can see, 
I have been doing quite a bit of work here. Quite a bit. And in fact, this might be a good time to show off a couple new things that I got for Rydia. What did I get for Rydia? I got three spells for her. I got three summons. These are also rare drops. All rare drops have a 1 out of 64 chance of dropping when you defeat an enemy. In order to get the Imp Summon, you need to defeat Imps. I didn't get it through the normal uh, playthrough of the game. So I went back and farmed a few Imps until I got one of them to drop the Imp Summon. It's well, we'll still see that. I'm going to show this off eventually. I'm going to show all of these off probably later in this video. Uh, but the imp, yeah, it's there. It's chances are because it only costs one MP, it's not going to be very good. But hey, we're going to show it off and we can see for ourselves. And then I also got the bomb summon. Now, counter to what you think, bombs don't drop the bomb summon. The best place I found to get the bomb summon is to go to uh, the surface of the moon, and I believe there were balloons and gray bombs, and they will drop uh, the bomb summon for you. And then the mage, uh, that is from mages, as you might expect, so you need to go find the mages and kill them. Once again, 1 out of 64 drop. Uh, now you might be saying, hey, you forgot one of the summons. If well, if you've played later versions of the game, I have not, actually. There, There is no summon like that in this game. Uh, however, well, we'll go over that just a little bit later. Just know, these are all the summons that you can legitimately get in this game. Now, there is a couple other secrets in other games that aren't in this game, unfortunately. Um... If you go to, I believe, the Dwarven Castle, uh, Giat Castle, uh, you know, in the underground, uh, there is a magazine in the back there, in the developer's room, that, well, that was been taken out of this, uh, this version of the game, unfortunately, but, uh, feel free to go to the developer's room and, and check out the porno that's in there. They, they always call it something different in every version of the game. I believe, uh, there's the Playboy, um, something like Play just says play magazine and then my favorite lustful wally ho uh but unfortunately that's not in this version of the game so without further ado it is time to show off all of those summons that i've been getting
was the summon showcase done there's only two more things i wanted to show off before we do head to the end of the game with my over leveled party hey where the hell did that guy go that is the way normally to the developer's room. Let's make sure that he doesn't get back in there. Uh, we're back in the Dwarven Castle. Uh, there is actually something here in this version of the game. I actually didn't know this. I thought I, I swore I tried to check here, but apparently I did not. Let us head between the two shops. This is normally where the development room is, but of course because this was released in America, Nintendo said no because there was a smutty magazine in here that is dirty and filthy and disturbing. So instead they put this guy in. Let's party, let's dance, lolly. Remember, according to Nintendo, this is less disturbing than a Playboy magazine. We, we do have the ultimate dancer here. This is definitely the one of the longest dances in the game. I don't know if it's the longest. Oh, and he jumps over. Nicely done. Oh, what the hell? He butt bumped me. Don't don't touch me, man. <laughs> don't touch me. And he's done. Lally lally ho. Yes, this is what we got instead of a magazine that. Uh, don't get me wrong. There's no porn in the magazine. It just is referred to as a Playboy or a lustful lolly ho. You can't see any pictures or anything, but that was still too much for Nintendo, so they put this guy in instead. If you ask me, this guy is far more disturbing. But with that done, there is only one more thing that I wanted to show off before we go to the end of the game once again.